So we have one more day, which is today, until we leave, and we spent the whole day packing. How do you no, feel about haven't. that? No, we haven't. I spent the whole day packing. No, you haven't. Most of the day. Okay, maybe some of the day. <laughs> but I mean, hey, it still counts, right? At least I'm packing finally. There's one thing for sure. If it was just me doing this, I don't think I'd be able to make it. What do you think, Mom? No, you wouldn't. I think, uh, yeah. I think we're all packed up. This yeah, car is full. The whole back is full. Trunk is full. Holy jeez, where am I gonna put this stuff? Oh, you guys are lost. <laughs> the time is now 4.46. We have officially left home. Nick driving over here. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're on an adventure. Today we are on a road trip to college. It's finally that time of the year. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joseph Salcedo. Welcome to my next college adventure. Right now we're driving through Virginia. Seems our GPS took us on the scenic route to avoid traffic. Avoid traffic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually saving us time, but it's a lot more interesting, so can't beat that. But yeah, stay tuned. Join us on our awesome adventure. Let's get started. Forwarding through the day a little bit, we have already made it to South Carolina. We've been on the road for about 12 hours, so not too, too bad of time that we're making. It's about what Google said we do, but as you know, I-95 always has traffic. We actually did have to take like a whole two-hour detour away from 95 and through like the back roads of Virginia, but it saved us a lot of time, so Waze, you're the best at. <laughs> Today is the day I'm gonna come out quarter rich. Gotta be rich. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that one. Oh. You didn't do anything to it. <laughs> so far, I'm down 25 cents. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Got my money back. <laughs> I gained 25 cents. Oh, so that, that's, <laughs> that's your profit right there. That, that's, that's when you walk away. <laughs> well, when you make a profit, you walk away or you keep on playing, which is exactly what you should not do. Yeah, let's see. Well, that one was good. Wow. Look at that. Just came out with some money. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. No, wait, wait. Yeah, that's it. Should I leave while I can? Should I, should I cash out? Well, maybe I should have cashed out because now I'm leaving empty handed. I got nothing left. Same with you. <laughs> you lost a dollar too. Yeah, I lost. Dollar, you know? I put in 25 cents, got a dollar 50, then lost a dollar 50. Then you lost a dollar. <laughs> Just paying my tax for. Uh... For south of the border, one dollar. <laughs> the, the, the south of the border tourist trap tax, that's what I call it. Well, I think I've learned one thing from this stop, and that is to never, ever, ever take me to the casino. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Good morning. 
everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to day two of our travels. We did pretty good yesterday. We made it all the way to Florence, South Carolina. So about 16 hours of travel time from New London, Connecticut. And then we're like, we got to get some rest. So here we are in our little hotel room. I slept so, so good last night. Like incredible, which is awesome. Look at that. We are in Georgia. Great progress so far today. It's only 10.30 and we're already in Georgia, which is great. We're almost to our final destination, which is St. Petersburg, Florida. I mean, we've only got one more state to go. Since we have so much time though, I think we're gonna make an obligatory stop to a, a pretty special place, so stay tuned for that. Almost there. I haven't been to this place in a couple of years, but I'm sure my grandparents watching will uh, will appreciate this. <laughs> we have stopped at one of the coolest places, I think. Jekyll Island, Georgia. The reason why this place is so significant is because this was our family vacation spot when I was younger. Pretty much every year, some years we wouldn't be able to make, but mostly every year, we would all pile into our minivan, all drive down, take us about two days, and then we spend a week here with our whole family and then also our grandparents, my great aunt and my great uncle as well too. It was great, it was awesome. So it's so cool to be back. It's been a couple years since I've last been, um, but I figured, you know, if I'm, if I'm on my adventure, I might as well stop if we're passing by it. at a pretty iconic place, it's called Driftwood Beach. This place is beautiful because it's all trees that have fallen down. All these trees right here, where they're super nice and like curly and stuff. And they've fallen down and become driftwood and now they're just on the beach where you can walk around them, climb on them. It makes for really, really good photography. A lot of people do like their weddings and stuff there, which is kind of cool. As you can see, this place is just a slice of paradise, man. It's so hidden, it's on Jekyll Island, which is popular. But it's not too, too busy where, you know, it gets crazy. It's a great spot just to go and enjoy nature. Enjoy it while I can though, because the hurricanes are destroying this beach. Like, it is bad. There you go. One thing I gotta get used to, I'm gonna start living down there. And I knew I signed up for this, but it is so, humid right now like it feels heavy doesn't it <laughs> like yes it is yeah. it, it, it just feels like something is like pressing down on you from from the heat <laughs> listen to the sound that the bugs make in the trees here no editing needed that's the sound And now we have made our stop on Main Beach. Pretty popular destination. Right now it is high tide, but during low tide, there is a really, really cool sandbar that goes really far out, which is really neat. It's only been a couple years since I've last been here. I think 2017, so like two and a half years ago. But the island, they have put some major, major work into all of the facilities and infrastructure on this island. It wasn't bad before, but they've really taken it to the next level. Like this whole parking lot wasn't here last time. I have a whole bathhouse, whole boardwalk. The beach is eroding bad, so they had to put up like a three mile long seawall or something like that. It's pretty neat, but man, it is definitely good to be back, that's for sure. And now it's time to hit the road again. We 
have arrived at Tampa International Airport to pick up our rental car. You know, I was taking a look around this car. I think this is the exact same rental car that we had last time. I, I vlogged last time we were in Florida, so I'll have to check the license plate and see if it's the same one, but I think this might be the exact same one. I mean, hey, it's great. They gave us a minivan again since Alamo. You guys are super nice all the time. Not sponsored, but hey, I'll plug you guys anyways because you guys are great. Now we have to go pick up my car, go back yeah, to the condo, right? and then it'll be all set. Yeah, if you keep on going straight, it should be good. And now I get to drive myself, my car, back to the condo. The whole reason why we're getting a rental car is because I move in Friday. My family doesn't fly it until Sunday. Plus, I've got all this stuff in this car too. So instead of having to unload the car, put it in the condo, and come back, it's best to just get a whole nother rental car. So here we go. Let's do it. about it welcome to Florida look at this beautiful sunset I'm so happy to be finally be here there's been so much like preparation and trepidation and and just just thought about moving to Florida just because you know it, it's tough I have to leave the people who I you know who I love I have to leave my girlfriend and my family and just everything in between and it's hard but now that I'm here I now know that this is definitely the place that I have to be. Like, now that I'm down here, that I've had some time driving around here, this is it. This is where I need to be. And I'm sure I'll meet plenty of amazing people where I'm, where I'm moving to college, and I'm sure it'll be quite the adventure, and I'm sure it'll go by quick. Four years goes by very, very quick. So, with that said, let's enjoy the time while we have it, make the most of our time in Florida, and go from there. Recording. Hey guys, this is car vlog number one. <laughs> Welcome to Eckerd South Beach. It's currently golden hour. We're just hanging out with friends and we are going to an awesome party tonight. I feel like I've mentioned it like 80 times now. <laughs> Eckerd College, man. Second day in the autumn term and I'm already loving it, which is awesome. It should be cool. I can't wait. Like honestly, from what I heard, it only gets better from here.